let me just refresh some things that we saw so in the last class we uh, kind of looked at uh, small signal impedances in the phi transistor ota so let me quickly draw that i'll assume an ideal tail current source so which means in small signals this is open this guy is short so here i have basically three nodes one two one three right let me also label it so what is the impedance looking into the node one it was the output resistance of these two guys in parallel again this is an approximate expression so again uh, to remind you it is not because looking up its r not 4 looking down its r not 2 and in fact what was the looking down impedance here yeah 2 or not 2 okay this is basically 2 or not 2 and also similarly we saw uh, the impedance looking into r not 2 i mean looking into the node 2 because of this diode connection we might be tempted to say it's 1 by gm3 but that is not the case because if you go and apply a test voltage here this is drawing a current gm3 vt but the same test voltage is applied to m4 can you actually once copy this so which means uh, you have the same current gm3 vt flows here and a fraction of this current comes and contributes to the output resistance so this is not 1 by gm this 1 by gm3 into a 1 plus a factor and that factor actually depends on the current division ratio between this resistor r04 and the looking down resistance we are interested to find the current flowing here so what is the ratio yeah r04 by r04 plus 2 r02 i believe this was the expression just check once and interestingly for questions and interestingly if you look at the uh, third node again you apply a test voltage here uh, you said okay it's okay yeah and here we saw the current splits here but what can you say about these two currents again by contradiction we proved they have to be equal so which means uh, these two nodes were what can you say about these two nodes they will be same okay maybe actually to avoid confusion i'll push here so let us say test voltage so these two voltages were equal so i could go and do this so then uh, what is the impedance looking here looking into the source what is the resistance 1 by gm if the drain impedance is small the drain impedance here is what 1 by gm so this is also similarly here so what's the total resistance parallel of the two is that okay i have basically parallel combination of these two resistors right so that's 1 by 2 gm okay. i'll actually erase this again this all approximate remember right. and this is actually uh, interesting because you see uh, the circuit here where is it the circuit here as such it is asymmetrical right there is no symmetry apparent from the circuit but the moment i apply a common mode excitation by common mode i mean i i apply an excitation to this differential pair so that the gate to source voltage for the two transistors are equal the moment i do that the two drain voltages become equal and it kind of becomes symmetric and this was happening in the dc operating uh, dc operating point calculations also right so even there the what did we do we applied uh, the same gate voltage here which means the gate to source voltage for these two guys were same and the moment we did that we argued that the only possible solution is to have equal currents in the two halves and the two drain voltages have to be same so this is something interesting here so as long as you have a common mode excitation by that i mean you have the same gate to source voltage for the two transistors forming the differential pair 
then the circuit kind of becomes symmetric. Okay. Cool. 